Have you ever found yourself feeling lost, uncertain, or even frustrated with the way life is unfolding? It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of expectations, pressures, and opinions that surround us every day. We live in a world where it seems like everyone has something to say about how we should live our lives. Whether it's through social media, the advice of friends and family, or even the silent pressure of society, we're constantly being pulled in different directions. It can feel overwhelming, like you're trying to please everyone but yourself. But what if I told you that true peace and strength don't come from what others give you, but from what you find within yourself? Imagine living a life where your happiness isn't dependent on anyone else's approval, where your confidence isn't shaken by others' opinions, and where your sense of self-worth is unshakable. It sounds liberating, doesn't it? That's because it is. The journey to this kind of freedom isn't always easy, but it's worth every step. Along the way, you'll discover that some of the things you've been holding on to, things that others have given you, knowingly or unknowingly, might actually be holding you back. They can weigh you down, cloud your judgment, and make you doubt your own worth and abilities. Letting go of these things is not just about rejecting what's harmful, it's about embracing what truly empowers you. Have you ever noticed how some people seem so strong, so unbothered by the chaos around them? They move through life with a quiet confidence, not needing validation from anyone else. You might wonder, what's their secret? How do they stay so centered, so sure of themselves, even when everything around them is uncertain? The answer lies in a simple but profound truth. They don't rely on others to define who they are. This kind of inner strength isn't something you're born with. It's something you build day by day, decision by decision. It's about choosing to stand firm in your values, even when it's hard. It's about recognizing that your worth doesn't come from the compliments you receive, the gifts you're given, or the approval you get from others. Your worth comes from within, from knowing who you are and what you stand for. Let's take a moment to think about the pressures we face every day. There's a constant demand to fit in, to be liked, to be seen as successful. We're taught to chase after things that we think will make us happy, more money, more recognition, more possessions. But deep down, we know that these things are temporary. They might bring a moment of joy, but they don't bring lasting peace. True happiness doesn't come from outside. It comes from a place deep within you. It's the kind of happiness that can't be shaken by what others say or do. It's a peace that remains, even when life is tough, even when things don't go as planned. And the key to this kind of happiness is understanding that there are some things you should never accept from anyone, no matter how tempting they might seem. Think about it. How many times have you let someone else's words affect your mood? How often have you changed your plans because you were worried about what others might think? These moments, small as they may seem, add up. They chip away at your confidence, your peace of mind, and your ability to live authentically. But it doesn't have to be this way. You have the power to take back control, to decide what influences your life and what doesn't. It starts with recognizing the things that don't serve you, the things that might feel good in the moment, but ultimately lead you away from your true path. It's about saying no to the things that undermine your strength and yes to the things that build it. Imagine waking up each day with a sense of clarity and purpose, knowing that you're living life on your own terms. You're not swayed by the opinions of others or by the fleeting trends of the moment. Instead, you're grounded in something much deeper, your own values, your own principles. This is what it means to live with integrity, to be true to yourself no matter what. As you walk this path, you'll start to notice a change. The things that used to bother you, the comments that used to sting, will start to lose their power. You'll find yourself feeling more confident, more at peace with who you are and where you're going. And when challenges arise, as they inevitably will, 
you'll face them with a calm and steady heart, knowing that you have everything you need within you to overcome them. This journey isn't about isolating yourself from the world or rejecting the people around you. It's about building a foundation of inner strength that allows you to interact with the world in a healthier, more balanced way. It's about recognizing that while others can offer advice, support and encouragement, the final say in how you live your life belongs to you. So, how do you start? It begins with awareness, becoming mindful of the things that influence you and questioning whether they truly align with your values. It's about taking a step back from the noise and finding the stillness within where your true self resides. From this place of stillness, you can begin to see clearly what serves you and what doesn't. As you continue on this path, you'll learn to trust yourself more, to listen to that quiet inner voice that knows what's best for you. You'll discover that you don't need to seek validation from others because you're already enough. You don't need to chase after external success because true success is living in harmony with your values. And you don't need to depend on others for happiness because the source of happiness is within you. This is the power of living a life rooted in Stoic wisdom. It's not about denying the good things in life, but about ensuring that those good things come from a place of strength and not dependence. It's about building a life that is resilient, independent and deeply fulfilling. So, as we embark on this journey together, I invite you to take a deep breath and open your mind to the possibilities ahead. This is your chance to reclaim your power, to let go of what doesn't serve you and to embrace a life of true freedom and inner peace. The road ahead may not always be easy, but I promise you, it will be worth it. Imagine standing in a crowded room surrounded by people who are all looking at you, waiting for your next move. You can feel the weight of their expectations, the silent judgment in their eyes and the pressure to impress. In that moment, what do you feel? For many, it's a mix of anxiety, fear, and the desperate need for validation. The truth is, we've all been there, caught in the trap of seeking approval from others, craving that external validation to feel worthy, successful, or even loved. But what if I told you that this search for validation is not only unnecessary, but also dangerous? What if relying on others' approval is silently eroding your confidence, your happiness, and your sense of self? This is where the wisdom of Stoicism comes into play. The Stoics, those ancient philosophers who sought to live with virtue and tranquility, understood something profound about human nature. True strength doesn't come from the praise or approval of others, but from within. They taught that when we rely on external validation, we give away our power. We become like a ship tossed by the waves, at the mercy of every passing opinion, rather than standing firm on our own inner foundation. Let's delve into why seeking validation is so dangerous and why the Stoics believed that relying on your inner strength is the key to true freedom. When you constantly seek validation, you're handing over the reins of your life to others. Every compliment, every bit of praise becomes a double-edged sword. Sure, it feels good in the moment, but what happens when the compliments stop? Or worse, when the criticism starts? If your sense of worth is tied to what others think, then you're building your identity on a foundation of sand. It shifts and crumbles with every change in the tide, leaving you feeling lost, unsure, and vulnerable. The Stoics knew that this was no way to live. They taught that we should build our lives on something far more stable, our own inner virtues. Instead of seeking validation from others, they encouraged us to look inward, to develop a sense of self-worth that is independent of external opinions. Imagine the peace that comes from knowing that your value doesn't depend on anyone else. You are enough just as you are, without needing others to affirm it. This is the essence of Stoic strength. But how do we cultivate this inner strength? 
It starts with understanding that other people's opinions are just that. Opinions. They are not facts, and they do not define you. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most famous Stoic philosophers, reminded himself daily that other people's judgments were outside his control and therefore irrelevant to his peace of mind. He wrote, It never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. This simple truth is powerful. When you stop giving weight to others' opinions, you free yourself from the chains of validation. This doesn't mean you should ignore all feedback or isolate yourself from others. It's about balance. You can listen to others, consider their perspectives, and even learn from them. But at the end of the day, your worth is not up for debate. It's something you carry within you, unshaken by the judgments of the outside world. This is what the Stoics meant by inner strength, a kind of unbreakable core that remains steady, no matter what storms rage around you. Another danger of seeking validation is that it leads to a constant need for approval. It's like a drug. The more you get, the more you need. You start to depend on it to feel good about yourself, to feel accomplished. But this dependency is a trap. It's exhausting and unsustainable because you can never control what others think or how they respond to you. One day, you might receive praise, and the next, you could face criticism. If you base your happiness on this roller coaster, you'll find yourself in a never ending cycle of highs and lows, never truly at peace. The Stoics believed that true peace comes from within, from aligning your actions with your own values and principles, not from the approval of others. They encouraged us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts, our actions, and our responses. Everything else, including what others think of us, is beyond our control, and therefore should not be a source of stress or concern. By letting go of the need for validation, you reclaim your power. You become the master of your own destiny, guided by your own inner compass. But letting go of this need is easier said than done. It requires practice and a shift in mindset. The Stoics offered practical advice on how to cultivate this inner strength. One of their key teachings is the concept of amor fati, or love of fate. This means accepting everything that happens to you as necessary and good, even if it doesn't seem that way at first. When you embrace life as it is, without wishing for things to be different, you start to see that other people's opinions are just another part of the world that you cannot control. And if you cannot control it, why let it control you? This mindset shift can be incredibly liberating. When you stop worrying about what others think, you open up space to focus on what truly matters, your own growth, your own happiness, and your own sense of purpose. You start to live for yourself, not for the approval of others. This doesn't mean becoming selfish or uncaring. In fact, it often leads to more genuine connections with others because you're no longer trying to impress or win their approval. You're simply being yourself and that authenticity is powerful. The Stoics also taught the importance of self-reflection, taking time each day to reflect on your actions, thoughts and feelings can help you build a stronger sense of self. When you know yourself deeply, you become less reliant on others to tell you who you are. You develop a clear sense of your own values and principles, which becomes your guiding star in life. This self-knowledge is the foundation of inner strength. Imagine a life where you no longer need to chase after validation, where you wake up each day confident in who you are, no matter what others say or think. This is the kind of life the Stoics envisioned, a life of inner peace, resilience, and true freedom. When you stop seeking validation, you start to see the world differently. You begin to realize that most people are too caught up in their own concerns to be constantly judging you. And even if they are, their opinions are just a reflection of their own perspectives, not a reflection of your worth. In a world that constantly tries to tell you who to be, the Stoic path is a revolutionary one. 
It's a path of self-reliance where you draw your strength from within rather than from the fleeting approval of others. It's about living authentically according to your own values and finding peace in knowing that you are enough just as you are. This is not an easy path, but it is a powerful one. It requires courage, self-discipline, and a willingness to let go of the need for validation. But in return, it offers something far more valuable, true freedom. As you embrace this stoic wisdom, you'll start to notice changes in your life. You'll find that you're less affected by criticism, more confident in your decisions, and more at peace with who you are. You'll no longer feel the need to prove yourself to others because you'll know that your worth isn't something that can be given or taken away. It's something you carry within you, always. This journey of letting go of validation is one of the most important you can undertake. It's a journey to reclaim your power, to live authentically, and to find true peace. The Stoics have shown us the way, but it's up to you to walk the path. It's up to you to decide that you will no longer be a slave to the opinions of others, that you will no longer let your happiness depend on their approval. Instead, you will build your life on a foundation of inner strength, guided by your own values and principles. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, finding strength within rather than seeking it from the outside world. It's about realizing that you are enough just as you are, and that you don't need anyone else to tell you that. It's about living a life of integrity, where your actions are guided by your own sense of right and wrong, not by the desire for approval. And it's about finding peace in knowing that no matter what others say or think, you are in control of your own life. As you continue on this journey, remember that it's not about perfection, it's about progress. Every time you choose to rely on your own inner strength rather than seeking validation from others, you're taking a step towards true freedom. Every time you remind yourself that your worth is not up for debate, you're building a stronger foundation for your life. And every time you let go of the need for approval, you're reclaiming your power. In a world that constantly tries to pull you in different directions, the Stoic path offers a way to stay centered, grounded, and true to yourself. It's a path that leads to inner peace, resilience, and a deep sense of fulfillment. So, as you go through life, remember this. You don't need validation from anyone else. You have everything you need within you. You are enough, just as you are. And when you live with this understanding, you'll find that the world starts to look a little different, less threatening, less overwhelming, and more full of possibilities. This is the power of Stoic wisdom. It's not about denying the reality of the world or pretending that other people's opinions don't matter at all. It's about recognizing that you are in control of how much power you give those opinions. It's about choosing to live according to your own values rather than trying to fit into someone else's expectations. And it's about finding the courage to be yourself no matter what. As you move forward, Take this wisdom with you. Let it guide you in those moments of doubt when you feel the pull to seek validation from others. Remind yourself that your worth doesn't come from them. It comes from within you. And in those moments when you're tempted to let others' opinions dictate your actions, remember the words of the Stoics. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This is your life, and you have the power to live it on your own terms. You have the strength within you to stand firm, even when the world around you is uncertain. You have the wisdom to know that true happiness doesn't come from others. It comes from within. So, take this journey with courage, knowing that you are enough, just as you are. And as you do, you'll find that the need for validation fades away, replaced by a deep and lasting sense of peace. When we release ourselves from the need for validation, we begin to see the power of self-trust. This newfound confidence is a cornerstone of stoic wisdom, but it is constantly threatened by subtle forces that can erode our inner strength. 
One such force is unsolicited advice, which often arrives disguised as helpfulness, but can be as corrosive to our confidence as seeking validation itself. Imagine making a decision after careful consideration, feeling confident in your choice, only to have someone offer advice you didn't ask for. Suddenly, your certainty begins to waver. The advice, though well-intentioned, plants seeds of doubt, causing you to second-guess your judgment. This is the subtle danger of unsolicited advice. It can undermine your confidence, leading you away from your true path. The Stoics, with their emphasis on self-reliance and inner wisdom, understood the risks of allowing unsolicited advice to influence one's decisions. They believed that true wisdom is not something passively received from others, but something actively cultivated within oneself through reflection and experience. When someone offers advice without being asked, it often reflects the advisor's own biases, fears and desires, factors that may have little to do with your unique situation or goals. When you accept unsolicited advice, it's as though you're handing over the reins of your life to someone else. Even if only for a moment, you are allowing another person to steer your course, which can create a kind of dependency. Over time, this can erode your ability to trust your own judgment. The Stoics taught that true freedom comes from within, from making decisions based on your own values and principles, rather than being swayed by the opinions of others. This is not to say that all advice should be ignored. There is great value in learning from others, especially those who have walked similar paths or who possess wisdom that you respect. However, unsolicited advice often comes without an understanding of your circumstances and without the depth of insight necessary to truly help. The Stoics would encourage discernment, knowing when to listen to advice and when to trust your own judgment. Unsolicited advice can also subtly undermine your confidence. Even advice given with the best intentions can cause you to doubt your own abilities or instincts. It can introduce uncertainty where there was none before, leading to hesitation and indecision. The Stoics believed that clarity of mind and purpose is essential for living a virtuous life. When your judgment is clouded by conflicting opinions, it becomes more difficult to move forward with conviction. By resisting the influence of unsolicited advice, you maintain the mental clarity needed to act in alignment with your values. There is a psychological dynamic at play in unsolicited advice that the Stoics would have been keenly aware of. When someone offers advice without being asked, it can create a subtle power imbalance where the advisor positions themselves as the authority. This can make you feel less capable, as though you need guidance to make the right decisions. The Stoics, however, believed in the capacity of each individual to cultivate wisdom and make sound decisions based on their own experiences and reflections. By standing firm in this belief, you reinforce your autonomy and resist the temptation to defer to others simply because they offer their opinions. Moreover, the motives behind unsolicited advice are not always pure. Sometimes people offer advice because they genuinely want to help, but often the act of giving advice serves the advisor's need to feel important or knowledgeable. The Stoics would urge us to examine the intentions behind the advice we receive. Is the person offering advice because they truly understand your situation and care about your well-being? Or are they projecting their own insecurities and desires onto you? Understanding the motives behind unsolicited advice can help you assess whether it's worth considering or if it's better left politely declined. Another significant issue with unsolicited advice is that it can lead to confusion and indecision. When you are clear about your goals and have made a decision based on your values, unsolicited advice can introduce unnecessary complexity. It can cause you to question your choice, to waver, and ultimately to delay taking action. 
The Stoics taught that clarity of purpose is vital for living a life of virtue. When your mind is muddled by conflicting advice, it becomes harder to act with the decisiveness that is characteristic of a well-lived Stoic life. By filtering out unsolicited advice, you preserve your mental clarity and ensure that your actions are aligned with your true intentions. It's also important to recognize that unsolicited advice often comes with unspoken expectations. When you accept advice, even if you didn't seek it out, there can be an implied obligation to follow it. This creates a sense of pressure, as though you're now accountable not only to yourself, but also to the person who gave the advice. The Stoics valued personal autonomy and would caution against allowing yourself to become entangled in others' expectations. By maintaining clear boundaries and only accepting advice that aligns with your values, you protect your freedom to make decisions that are best for you. In our modern world, where advice is often freely given, whether from friends, family, or even strangers online, it's more important than ever to cultivate a strong sense of self. The Stoics believed that true wisdom comes from within, from a deep understanding of your own mind and heart. When you are grounded in this inner wisdom, you are less likely to be swayed by unsolicited advice. You become more confident in your decisions, more resilient in the face of challenges, and more capable of living a life that is true to who you are. But while it's crucial to resist the influence of unsolicited advice, it's equally important to practice discernment. Not all advice is harmful, and not all unsolicited advice should be ignored outright. The key is to develop the ability to assess whether the advice you're receiving is genuinely helpful or merely a distraction. The Stoics would encourage you to listen carefully, consider the source, and then decide whether the advice aligns with your values and goals. If it does, then it can be a valuable tool in your decision-making process. If it doesn't, then it's perfectly fine to let it go. There's also a lesson in humility here. While it's important to trust yourself, it's also vital to remain open to learning from others. However, this learning should be intentional and sought out, not something imposed upon you. By actively seeking advice from those you respect and whose wisdom you value, you can continue to grow and develop without being at the mercy of every passing opinion. This approach allows you to maintain control over your learning and growth, ensuring that the advice you receive is aligned with your own goals and values. The Stoic perspective on unsolicited advice is about empowerment. It's about recognizing that you have the power to make your own decisions and that you don't need to rely on others to tell you how to live your life. It's about taking ownership of your path and trusting that you have the wisdom within you to navigate it. When you embrace this perspective, you free yourself from the need for external validation and start living a life that is guided by your own inner compass. This journey is not about rejecting all advice or shutting out the world. It's about finding a balance between being open to learning and maintaining your sense of direction. It's about knowing when to listen and when to stand firm in your beliefs. And most importantly, it's about trusting yourself enough to know that you are capable of making the right decisions for your life. As you continue on this path, remember that you are the expert on your own life. No one else has lived your experiences faced your challenges, or understands your goals as deeply as you do. By trusting yourself and your judgment, you develop a stronger sense of self and a clearer vision of what you want in life. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, finding strength within rather than seeking it from the outside world. In a world full of noise and opinions, the Stoic path offers a way to find clarity and peace. It's a path that leads to greater self-reliance, deeper wisdom, and a more authentic way of living. By letting go of the need for others to guide your decisions, you reclaim your power and take control of your own destiny. And in doing so, you discover a strength within you that is unshakable, 
no matter what advice the world may offer. This journey of self-reliance and inner strength is not always easy, but it is deeply rewarding. It requires courage, self-discipline, and a commitment to living according to your values. But the rewards are immense. When you stop accepting unsolicited advice and start trusting yourself, you unlock a sense of freedom and empowerment that is truly life-changing. You become the author of your own story, charting a course that is uniquely yours. One of the reasons unsolicited advice is so problematic is that it often comes from people who are projecting their own fears and insecurities onto you. When someone gives advice without understanding your situation, they are likely basing it on their experiences, which may not be relevant to your life. This projection can cause you to question your choices, even if those choices are well considered and aligned with your values. The Stoics would caution against allowing other people's fears to dictate your actions. They would remind you that while it's important to consider different perspectives, your decisions should ultimately be guided by your own principles and understanding. By rejecting unsolicited advice, you are not only preserving your autonomy, but also protecting yourself from being influenced by the anxieties and limitations of others. Furthermore, Unsolicited advice can create unnecessary conflict. When someone offers advice you didn't ask for, it can feel intrusive, leading to tension and misunderstandings. The Stoics emphasize the importance of maintaining harmonious relationships, but they also believed in setting boundaries to protect one's peace of mind. By politely declining unsolicited advice, you can avoid potential conflicts while still honoring your values and maintaining your sense of self. In addition to causing confusion and doubt, unsolicited advice can also lead to overthinking. When you receive advice that wasn't sought, you may find yourself ruminating on it, trying to determine if it's something you should consider. This mental turmoil can be exhausting and counterproductive as it diverts your focus from what truly matters, your own goals and values. The Stoics taught that a calm and focused mind is essential for living a virtuous life. By minimizing the impact of unsolicited advice, you can maintain the mental clarity needed to pursue your path with purpose and determination. The idea that unsolicited advice can create a sense of obligation is also significant. When someone offers advice, there is often an unspoken expectation that you will follow it. This can create pressure, making you feel as though you owe it to the advisor to act on their suggestions, even if they don't align with your values. The Stoics valued personal freedom and would urge you to resist any pressure to act against your better judgment. By setting boundaries and only accepting advice that resonates with you, you protect your ability to make decisions based on your own values and priorities. In modern society, where advice is often given freely and without consideration, it's more important than ever to develop a strong sense of self. The Stoics believed that true wisdom comes from within, from a deep understanding of your own mind and heart. When you are grounded in this inner wisdom, you are less likely to be swayed by unsolicited advice. You become more confident in your decisions, more resilient in the face of challenges, and more capable of living a life that is true to who you are. But while it's essential to resist the influence of unsolicited advice, it's equally important to practice discernment. Not all advice is harmful, and not all unsolicited advice should be ignored outright. The key is to develop the ability to assess whether the advice you're receiving is genuinely helpful or merely a distraction. The Stoics would encourage you to listen carefully, consider the source, and then decide whether the advice aligns with your values and goals. If it does, then it can be a valuable tool in your decision-making process. If it doesn't, then it's perfectly fine to let it go. There's also a lesson in humility here. While it's important to trust yourself, it's also vital to remain open to learning from others. However, this learning should be intentional and sought out, not something imposed upon you. 
by actively seeking advice from those you respect and whose wisdom you value, you can continue to grow and develop without being at the mercy of every passing opinion. This approach allows you to maintain control over your learning and growth, ensuring that the advice you receive is aligned with your own goals and values. The Stoic perspective on unsolicited advice is about empowerment. It's about recognizing that you have the power to make your own decisions and that you don't need to rely on others to tell you how to live your life. It's about taking ownership of your path and trusting that you have the wisdom within you to navigate it. When you embrace this perspective, you free yourself from the need for external validation and start living a life that is guided by your own inner compass. This journey is not about rejecting all advice or shutting out the world. It's about finding a balance between being open to learning and maintaining your sense of direction. It's about knowing when to listen and when to stand firm in your beliefs. And most importantly, it's about trusting yourself enough to know that you are capable of making the right decisions for your life. As you continue on this path, remember that you are the expert on your own life. No one else has lived your experiences, faced your challenges, or understands your goals as deeply as you do. By trusting yourself and your judgment, you develop a stronger sense of self and a clearer vision of what you want in life. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, finding strength within rather than seeking it from the outside world. In a world full of noise and opinions, the Stoic path offers a way to find clarity and peace. It's a path that leads to greater self-reliance, deeper wisdom and a more authentic way of living. By letting go of the need for others to guide your decisions, you reclaim your power and take control of your own destiny. And in doing so, you discover a strength within you that is unshakable, no matter what advice the world may offer. This journey of self-reliance and inner strength is not always easy, but it is deeply rewarding. It requires courage, self-discipline, and a commitment to living according to your values. But the rewards are immense. When you stop accepting unsolicited advice and start trusting yourself, you unlock a sense of freedom and empowerment that is truly life-changing. You become the author of your own story, charting a course that is uniquely yours. Unsolicited advice, while often well-intentioned, can undermine your confidence, cloud your judgment, and lead you away from your true path. The Stoics understood the dangers of allowing external opinions to influence your decisions and instead encouraged the cultivation of inner wisdom and self-reliance. By resisting the pull of unsolicited advice, you preserve your autonomy and maintain the clarity needed to live a life that is true to your values and goals. Remember, the power to shape your life lies within you. Trust yourself, set boundaries, and embrace the freedom that comes from living according to your own principles. This is the path to true Stoic strength and wisdom, and it is a journey worth taking. When we recognize the subtle dangers of unsolicited advice and choose to trust our inner wisdom, we begin to build a stronger foundation for our lives. But there's another, often more tempting trap that can shake this foundation, compliments and flattery. Imagine receiving praise for something you've done. It feels good, doesn't it? Compliments can uplift our spirits and make us feel valued. But what if the very thing that makes us feel good is also making us vulnerable? What if our reliance on external praise is quietly eroding our sense of self-worth, making us dependent on the opinions of others? The Stoics, always wary of external influences, had a profound understanding of this dynamic and warned against letting compliments and flattery shape our identity. Compliments can be as alluring as they are dangerous. They offer us a momentary boost, a validation of our actions and a sense of recognition. But here's the thing, when we start relying on these external affirmations to feel good about ourselves, we give away our power. 
we allow others to define our worth, and in doing so, we become dependent on their approval. The Stoics believed that true strength comes from within, from a sense of self that is independent of external validation. When you rely on compliments to feel worthy, you're building your identity on a foundation that can crumble at any moment. Flattery, in particular, is a dangerous form of praise. It's often insincere, designed to manipulate or control rather than genuinely uplift. The Stoics were acutely aware of how flattery could be used as a tool of manipulation, making us more susceptible to the influence of others. When we allow ourselves to be swayed by flattery, we become less grounded in our own values and more inclined to act in ways that please others rather than staying true to ourselves. This is why the Stoics emphasized the importance of maintaining a strong sense of self-worth that isn't easily swayed by the opinions or praise of others. One of the reasons compliments and flattery are so tempting is that they tap into a deep-seated human desire for recognition and belonging. We all want to be seen, valued, and appreciated. However, the Stoics taught that this desire for external validation can lead us astray if it becomes a primary driver of our actions. When we chase after compliments, we risk losing sight of our true purpose and values. We start to prioritize what will earn us praise over what is truly meaningful and virtuous. The Stoics believed that our actions should be guided by our own inner compass, not by the pursuit of external rewards. Another issue with relying on compliments and flattery is that it makes us vulnerable to manipulation. Those who understand our need for praise can easily exploit it, using flattery to influence our decisions and behavior. The Stoics would argue that when we allow ourselves to be controlled by the opinions of others, we lose our autonomy and become puppets to those who know how to pull our strings. This is why it's so important to develop a strong sense of self-worth that isn't dependent on external validation. By doing so, we protect ourselves from being manipulated and ensure that our actions are truly our own. Moreover, when we become too attached to compliments, we also become more sensitive to criticism. If our self-worth is tied to the praise we receive, then any negative feedback can feel like a personal attack, shaking our confidence and making us doubt ourselves. The Stoics taught that we should be indifferent to both praise and criticism, recognizing that neither defines our true worth. Instead, we should focus on living virtuously, guided by our own principles, rather than being swayed by the opinions of others. By cultivating this indifference, we free ourselves from the highs and lows of external validation and find a deeper, more stable sense of self. The Stoics also warned against the dangers of self-deception that can arise from excessive praise. When we receive too many compliments, it's easy to start believing that we are better or more important than we truly are. This can lead to arrogance, complacency, and a lack of self-awareness. The Stoics believed that humility was essential to living a virtuous life, and they cautioned against allowing praise to inflate our ego. Instead, they encouraged us to remain grounded, always aware of our limitations, and focused on continual self-improvement. It's also important to recognize that compliments and flattery are often fleeting. The same people who praise you today may criticize you tomorrow. If your sense of self-worth is tied to the opinions of others, you will find yourself on an emotional roller coaster, constantly chasing after the next compliment to feel good about yourself. The Stoics believed that true happiness and fulfillment come from within, not from external sources. By letting go of the need for praise and focusing on living in accordance with your values, you can find a deeper, more lasting sense of peace and contentment. There is a certain freedom that comes from not being swayed by compliments or flattery. When you are no longer dependent on external validation, you are free to act according to your own principles rather than trying to please others. 
This doesn't mean rejecting all compliments outright, but rather accepting them with a sense of detachment, recognizing that they do not define your worth. The Stoics would remind us that our value as individuals is not determined by the opinions of others, but by the virtue with which we live our lives. This stoic approach to compliments and flattery is not about rejecting the positive things that others say about us, but about maintaining a healthy perspective. It's about understanding that while it's nice to receive praise, it's not something we should rely on for our sense of self-worth. The stoics taught that we should be content with who we are, independent of what others think. This inner contentment is the key to living a life of true freedom and fulfillment. When we look at the Stoic view on compliments and flattery, we see that it's really about cultivating a strong, stable sense of self. This sense of self is not easily shaken by the opinions of others, whether positive or negative. It's rooted in an understanding of our own values and principles, and in the recognition that our worth comes from within, not from the praise we receive. By embracing this Stoic perspective, we can navigate life's ups and downs with greater resilience, confidence and peace of mind. Another important aspect of the Stoic view on compliments is the idea of moderation. The Stoics believed in the importance of balance in all things, and this applies to how we respond to praise as well. While it's natural to feel good when we receive a compliment, the key is not to let it go to our heads. The Stoics would advise us to accept compliments graciously, but without letting them inflate our ego or change the way we see ourselves. By maintaining this balance, we can enjoy the positive feelings that come with praise without becoming dependent on them. It's also worth noting that the Stoics recognized the value of honest feedback. While they cautioned against letting compliments define us, they also understood the importance of constructive criticism. The Stoics believed that feedback, when given sincerely and with the intent to help us grow, could be a valuable tool for self-improvement. However, they would also remind us that not all criticism is helpful or accurate. Just as we should be cautious of flattery, we should also be discerning about the criticism we receive using our own judgment to determine whether it's something we can learn from or something to let go. In the end, the Stoic view on compliments and flattery is about empowerment. It's about reclaiming the power to define your own worth rather than allowing it to be determined by others. It's about recognizing that while compliments can be nice, they are not essential to your sense of self. Your true value lies in how you live your life in the integrity with which you pursue your goals and in the consistency with which you adhere to your principles. By focusing on these internal factors rather than external praise, you build a sense of self that is strong, resilient and unshakable. This approach to compliments and flattery also has broader implications for how we interact with others. When we are not driven by the need for praise, we can engage with people more authentically we are less likely to seek approval or try to impress others and more likely to be true to ourselves. This authenticity fosters deeper, more meaningful connections as we are no longer trying to be someone we're not in order to gain the approval of others. The Stoics would argue that by letting go of the need for compliments, we not only strengthen our own sense of self, but also improve our relationships with others. There is also a lesson in humility here. The Stoics believed that true wisdom comes from recognizing our limitations and striving to improve ourselves rather than seeking validation from others. When we become too focused on compliments, we risk losing sight of this humility, becoming complacent or even arrogant. The Stoics would remind us that no matter how much praise we receive, there is always room for growth and self-improvement. By maintaining a humble attitude, we stay open to learning and continue to develop as individuals. In a world that often emphasizes external success and recognition, the Stoic view on compliments and flattery offers a refreshing perspective. 
It encourages us to look within for our sense of worth, rather than seeking it from others. It teaches us to be wary of flattery and to recognize when praise is being used as a tool of manipulation. And most importantly, it reminds us that our true value lies not in what others think of us, but in how we live our lives. This Stoic approach is not about rejecting all forms of praise or recognition. It's about finding balance, understanding that while compliments can be enjoyable, they are not essential to our happiness or self-worth. By embracing this perspective, we can navigate the challenges of life with greater confidence, resilience, and inner peace. As we reflect on the Stoic view of compliments and flattery, it becomes clear that this philosophy is ultimately about empowerment. It's about taking control of our own sense of self, rather than allowing it to be shaped by the opinions of others. It's about finding strength within, rather than relying on external validation. And it's about living a life that is true to our values, regardless of whether or not we receive praise for it. In a world that is constantly trying to tell us who we should be and what we should value, the Stoic approach offers a path to true freedom. It encourages us to define our own worth, to live according to our principles, and to find fulfillment in the pursuit of virtue rather than in the pursuit of praise. By embracing this philosophy, we can build a life that is not only resilient in the face of challenges, but also deeply fulfilling. The Stoic view on compliments and flattery is a reminder that our worth is not something that can be given to us by others. It is something that we must cultivate within ourselves, through our actions, our choices, and our commitment to living a virtuous life. By letting go of the need for external validation, we can find a deeper, more lasting sense of self-worth, one that is not easily shaken by the opinions of others. As we continue on our journey of self-reliance and inner strength, it's important to remember that the Stoic approach is not about rejecting all praise, but about putting it in its proper place. Compliments can be a source of encouragement, but they should not be the foundation of our self-esteem. By maintaining a balanced perspective, we can enjoy the positive feelings that come with praise without becoming dependent on them. This balance is key to living a life that is both empowered and authentic. The Stoic view on compliments and flattery is a powerful tool for cultivating a strong sense of self-worth. It teaches us to be wary of external validation, to recognize when praise is being used to manipulate us and to focus on living a life that is true to our values. By embracing this perspective, we can build a life that is resilient, confident and deeply fulfilling. We can find true freedom in the knowledge that our worth is not determined by what others think of us, but by how we choose to live our lives. This journey of understanding and applying the Stoic approach to compliments and flattery is one that leads to greater self-awareness, humility and inner peace. It empowers us to take control of our own sense of self, to live authentically and to find fulfillment in the pursuit of virtue rather than in the pursuit of praise. By embracing this philosophy, we can navigate the challenges of life with confidence, resilience and a deep sense of inner strength. As we navigate the seductive allure of compliments and flattery, the question arises, what happens when we let external praise define our self-worth? It's a subtle trap one that feels comforting in the moment, but can be profoundly destabilizing over time. Imagine living a life where your sense of value hinges on the applause of others. The highs are exhilarating, but the lows are devastating. The Stoics, with their deep understanding of human nature, recognize the dangers of tying self-worth to external praise. They knew that true strength comes from within, and that relying on the fleeting approval of others only weakens our foundation. The problem with external praise is that it is inherently unstable. People's opinions are fickle, influenced by countless factors beyond your control. When you allow your self-worth to be determined by what others think of you, 
you place your happiness on a shaky foundation. One day, you may receive applause and recognition, but the next, that praise could vanish, leaving you questioning your value. The Stoics understood this well. They believed that true self-worth must be anchored in something far more stable, your own principles, your own actions, and your own inner sense of virtue. Relying on external praise creates a dependency that can be incredibly harmful. It conditions you to seek out validation from others, making you vulnerable to their judgments and opinions. This dependency can lead to a life where you are constantly chasing after approval, molding yourself to fit the expectations of those around you. The Stoics would argue that this is no way to live. When you let others define your worth, you give up your autonomy, becoming a slave to the ever-changing opinions of the crowd. Instead, the Stoics taught that self-worth should come from within, from living a life that is true to your own values, regardless of whether or not others recognize it. Another issue with relying on external praise is that it can distort your sense of self. When you base your worth on the opinions of others, you begin to lose sight of who you truly are. You start to prioritize what will earn you praise over what is genuinely important to you. This can lead to a kind of identity crisis where you are no longer sure what you stand for, what you believe in, or who you want to be. The Stoics believed that clarity of purpose and a strong sense of self were essential to living a virtuous life. By letting go of the need for external praise, you can reconnect with your true self and live a life that is authentic and meaningful. One of the most profound insights of Stoic philosophy is the understanding that you cannot control what others think of you. People's opinions are shaped by their own experiences, biases and emotions, which means they often have little to do with you as a person. When you allow these opinions to determine your self-worth, you are giving power over your happiness to something completely outside of your control. The Stoics believed that true peace and contentment come from focusing on what you can control, your own actions, thoughts and reactions, rather than being consumed by what others might think. This Stoic approach to self-worth is about reclaiming your power. It's about recognizing that your value does not come from the approval of others, but from living a life that is true to your principles. When you stop seeking external validation, you free yourself from the need to constantly prove your worth to others. You begin to act with integrity, guided by your own inner compass, rather than trying to conform to the expectations of those around you. This kind of inner freedom is at the heart of Stoic wisdom. It allows you to live a life of purpose and fulfillment, unshaken by the opinions of others. Relying on external praise also makes you more susceptible to the whims of others. When your self-worth is tied to what others think, you become vulnerable to their manipulation. People can use praise as a tool to control you, to influence your decisions, and to steer you in directions that serve their interests rather than your own. The Stoics understood that true autonomy requires detachment from the opinions of others. By developing a sense of self-worth that is independent of external praise, you protect yourself from being manipulated and ensure that your actions are truly your own. There is also a deeper, more existential reason why external praise should not define your self-worth. The Stoics believed that life is fleeting and that true fulfillment comes from living in accordance with your own values and principles, not from chasing after the approval of others. They taught that external praise is ultimately meaningless in the grand scheme of things. It is a fleeting, temporary thing that has no lasting significance. What truly matters is how you live your life, whether you live with integrity, whether you are true to your principles, and whether you contribute to the world in a meaningful way. When you base your self-worth on external praise, you are essentially living for others rather than for yourself. You are constantly seeking validation from the outside world 
rather than finding it within. This can lead to a life of insecurity where you are always worried about what others think, always trying to please and always afraid of criticism. The Stoics would argue that this is a life of anxiety, not of true happiness. By letting go of the need for external praise, you can find a deeper, more lasting sense of self-worth that is not dependent on the opinions of others. The Stoics also recognize that external praise can be deceptive. People often praise you not because of your true worth, but because of how you make them feel, or because they want something from you. This kind of praise is insincere, and relying on it for your self-worth is dangerous. The Stoics would encourage you to be discerning about the praise you receive, recognizing that it often has more to do with the person giving it than with your actual value. By focusing on your own principles and actions, rather than on the praise of others, you can build a more accurate and stable sense of self-worth. Another important Stoic insight is the idea that external praise can lead to complacency. When you receive praise, it's easy to start believing that you've already achieved something great, that you've already become the person you want to be. This can lead to a kind of stagnation, where you stop striving for improvement and growth. The Stoics believed that life is a continual process of self-improvement and that true fulfillment comes from always striving to become better, to live more virtuously and to contribute more meaningfully to the world. By not letting external praise define your self-worth, you stay motivated to keep growing and improving rather than resting on your laurels. Relying on external praise also places you on a never-ending treadmill of seeking approval. No matter how much praise you receive, it's never enough. You always want more because your sense of self-worth is tied to the opinions of others. This can lead to a life of constant striving, where you are always chasing after the next compliment, the next award, the next bit of recognition. The Stoics believed that this kind of life is ultimately unfulfilling. True happiness, they taught, comes not from external validation, but from living a life that is true to your own values, regardless of what others think. When you free yourself from the need for external praise, you begin to discover a deeper, more authentic sense of self-worth. You start to see that your value as a person is not determined by what others think of you, but by how you live your life. You begin to act with greater integrity, making decisions based on your own principles rather than on the desire for approval. This leads to a more fulfilling life, one that is grounded in a deep sense of inner worth rather than in the fleeting opinions of others. The Stoics also understood that external praise can be addictive. Once you start receiving praise, it's easy to start craving more. You begin to seek out situations where you can receive more praise, and you may even start to change your behavior to earn more approval from others. This can lead you away from your true self as you start to prioritize what will earn you praise over what is truly important to you. The Stoics would argue that this is a form of self-betrayal. When you allow external praise to dictate your actions, you are no longer living authentically, but rather trying to conform to the expectations of others. By letting go of the need for external praise, you can start to live a more authentic life. You begin to make decisions based on what you truly believe is right, rather than on what will earn you approval. This leads to a greater sense of fulfillment, as you are no longer trying to be someone you're not in order to please others. Instead, you are living in alignment with your own values, which is the key to true happiness, according to the Stoics. One of the most powerful Stoic insights is the idea that your self-worth should come from within, not from external sources. When you base your self-worth on external praise, you are essentially giving away your power to others. You are allowing them to determine your value, which makes you vulnerable to their opinions and judgments. The Stoics believed that true power comes from within, from a strong sense of self that is not dependent on external validation. 
By cultivating this inner power, you can build a sense of self-worth that is unshakable, regardless of what others think. This stoic approach to self-worth is about reclaiming your autonomy. It's about recognizing that your value does not come from the approval of others, but from living a life that is true to your principles. When you stop seeking external validation, you free yourself from the need to constantly prove your worth to others. You begin to act with integrity, guided by your own inner compass, rather than trying to conform to the expectations of those around you. This kind of inner freedom is at the heart of Stoic wisdom. It allows you to live a life of purpose and fulfillment, unshaken by the opinions of others. The Stoics also recognized that external praise is often superficial. People may praise you for things that are not truly important or for things that do not reflect your true character. When you allow this kind of superficial praise to define your self-worth, you are basing your sense of value on something that is ultimately meaningless. The Stoics would encourage you to focus on what truly matters, your own principles, your own actions, and your own sense of virtue. By doing so, you can build a sense of self-worth that is deep and lasting, rather than one that is based on superficial praise. There is also a practical reason why external praise should not define your self-worth. The Stoics believed that life is full of challenges and difficulties and that true resilience comes from within. When you base your self-worth on external praise, you are setting yourself up for disappointment when the praise inevitably stops or turns to criticism. The Stoics taught that true resilience comes from a strong sense of self-worth that is independent of external validation. By cultivating this inner resilience, you can navigate life's challenges with greater confidence and peace of mind. In a world that often emphasizes external success and recognition, the Stoic view on self-worth offers a refreshing perspective. It encourages you to look within for your sense of value rather than seeking it from others. It teaches you to be wary of external praise and to recognize that your true worth comes from living a life that is true to your principles. By embracing this perspective, you can build a life that is not only resilient in the face of challenges, but also deeply fulfilling. The stoic approach to self-worth is ultimately about empowerment. It's about taking control of your own sense of value rather than allowing it to be determined by others. It's about recognizing that your worth is not something that can be given to you by others, but something that you cultivate within yourself through your actions, your choices, and your commitment to living a virtuous life. By letting go of the need for external validation, you can find a deeper, more lasting sense of self-worth, one that is not easily shaken by the opinions of others. As you continue on your journey of self-reliance and inner strength, it's important to remember that the Stoic approach is not about rejecting all praise, but about putting it in its proper place. External praise can be a source of encouragement, but it should not be the foundation of your self-esteem. By maintaining a balanced perspective, you can enjoy the positive feelings that come with praise without becoming dependent on them. This balance is key to living a life that is both empowered and authentic. The Stoic view on external praise and self-worth is a powerful tool for cultivating a strong sense of self. It teaches you to be wary of external validation, to recognize when praise is being used to manipulate you, and to focus on living a life that is true to your values. By embracing this perspective, you can build a life that is resilient, confident, and deeply fulfilling. You can find true freedom in the knowledge that your worth is not determined by what others think of you, but by how you choose to live your life. This journey of understanding and applying the stoic approach to self-worth is one that leads to greater self-awareness, humility, and inner peace. It empowers you to take control of your own sense of value, to live authentically, and to find fulfillment in the pursuit of virtue, rather than in the pursuit of praise. 
By embracing this philosophy, you can navigate the challenges of life with confidence, resilience, and a deep sense of inner strength. As we explore the Stoic perspective on external praise and self-worth, we begin to understand the power of internal validation and the dangers of relying on others to define our value. But there is another subtle yet pervasive trap that can undermine our inner strength, the dependence on material gifts. Imagine for a moment the fleeting thrill of receiving a gift, a new gadget, a luxurious item, or even money. The excitement is real, but how long does it last? The Stoics recognize that when we tie our happiness and sense of worth to material possessions, we set ourselves up for a life of instability and dissatisfaction. The allure of material gifts can be strong, but the Stoic lessons in simplicity teach us that true contentment comes from within, not from the accumulation of things. Material gifts, while often given with good intentions, can create a dangerous dependency. When we start to rely on these external tokens for our happiness, we begin to lose touch with what truly matters. The thrill of receiving a gift is temporary, and as soon as the novelty wears off, we find ourselves craving the next one. This cycle of desire and fleeting satisfaction can trap us in a never-ending pursuit of more, leading us away from the simplicity and contentment that the Stoics valued so highly. The Stoics would remind us that true happiness is not found in possessions, but in the strength of our character and the quality of our relationships. The danger of becoming dependent on material gifts is that it shifts our focus from what we can control, our thoughts, actions and responses, to what we cannot control, what others give us. This external focus can make us vulnerable to disappointment, as we cannot always count on receiving the gifts we desire. The Stoics taught that our well-being should not be at the mercy of external factors, especially those that are beyond our control. By cultivating an attitude of simplicity and detachment from material things, we can protect ourselves from the emotional highs and lows that come with dependency on gifts. Another aspect of this dependency is the way it can distort our values and priorities. When we place too much importance on material gifts, we may start to prioritize wealth and possessions over relationships, personal growth, and the pursuit of virtue. The Stoics believed that living a good life meant focusing on what truly matters, developing wisdom, practicing courage, and building meaningful connections with others. By placing our happiness in material gifts, we risk losing sight of these higher values, leading to a life that is shallow and unfulfilling. The Stoics also understood that material gifts could be a source of manipulation, when we become too attached to receiving gifts, we make ourselves susceptible to those who would use these gifts to control or influence us. This can create a power dynamic where the giver holds sway over the recipient, not out of genuine care, but because of the leverage that material gifts provide. The Stoics would caution us against allowing ourselves to be controlled in this way, reminding us that true freedom comes from within and is not dependent on external possessions. Moreover, the pursuit of material gifts can lead to a life of excess and clutter. When we accumulate more and more possessions, we may find ourselves overwhelmed by the very things we thought would bring us happiness. The Stoics valued simplicity, understanding that a life free from unnecessary distractions and excesses allows for greater clarity, focus, and inner peace. By embracing a simpler lifestyle and letting go of the need for material gifts, we can create space for what truly matters – personal growth, meaningful relationships, and a deeper connection to the world around us. It's also important to recognize that the joy we derive from material gifts is often short-lived. The Stoics were keenly aware of the impermanence of all things including the satisfaction that comes from acquiring new possessions. They taught that we should find our contentment in things that are lasting and stable, our virtues, our wisdom, and our inner peace, 
rather than in the fleeting pleasure of material gifts. By focusing on these enduring sources of happiness, we can cultivate a sense of contentment that is not easily shaken by the loss or absence of material things. Another peril of depending on material gifts is the way it can fuel envy and jealousy. When we see others receiving gifts that we do not have, it can stir up feelings of inadequacy and resentment. The Stoics believed that these emotions are destructive and can lead to a life of discontent and inner turmoil. By letting go of the need for material gifts and embracing simplicity, we can free ourselves from the corrosive effects of envy and cultivate a sense of gratitude for what we already have. The Stoics also taught that true wealth is not measured by the number of possessions we have, but by our ability to be content with what we have. They believed that the pursuit of material wealth is a distraction from the pursuit of true wisdom and virtue. When we focus too much on acquiring material gifts, we risk neglecting the development of our character and the cultivation of our inner resources. The Stoics would encourage us to focus on enriching our minds and hearts rather than our bank accounts, knowing that this is where true wealth lies. Dependency on material gifts can also create a sense of entitlement. When we become accustomed to receiving gifts, we may start to expect them, taking them for granted rather than appreciating them as expressions of generosity. This sense of entitlement can erode our gratitude and make us more demanding and less appreciative of the kindness of others. The Stoics would remind us that nothing in life is guaranteed and that we should approach each gift with humility and gratitude, recognizing it as a blessing rather than a right. Furthermore, the Stoics believed that dependence on material gifts could weaken our resilience. When we rely on external possessions for our happiness, we become less capable of coping with adversity and loss. The Stoics taught that true resilience comes from within, from our ability to adapt to changing circumstances and find peace in the face of hardship. By cultivating a sense of detachment from material things, we can build the inner strength needed to weather life storms without being shaken by the loss of possessions. This stoic lesson in simplicity is not about rejecting all material gifts or living a life of asceticism. Rather, it's about finding balance and ensuring that our happiness is not dependent on what we own. The stoics would encourage us to enjoy the gifts we receive, but to do so with a sense of detachment recognizing that they are not the source of our true contentment. By focusing on what we can control, our actions, our thoughts and our character, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace that is not easily disturbed by the presence or absence of material things. The Stoics also believed that true generosity comes not from giving or receiving material gifts, but from sharing our wisdom, our time and our compassion with others. They taught that these intangible gifts are far more valuable than any physical possession, as they have the power to enrich both the giver and the receiver in profound ways. By shifting our focus from material gifts to the gifts of the Spirit, we can cultivate a deeper sense of connection and fulfillment in our relationships with others. In addition to fostering simplicity, the Stoic approach to material gifts also encourages us to examine our motivations. Why do we desire these gifts? What do we hope to achieve by acquiring them? The Stoics believed that many of our desires for material things are driven by a misunderstanding of what will truly make us happy. They would encourage us to look beyond the surface and to question whether these gifts are really necessary for our well-being or whether they are simply distractions from the pursuit of a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Dependency on material gifts can also lead to a distorted sense of self-worth. When we measure our value by the things we own, we are tying our identity to something that is ultimately external and impermanent. The Stoics would remind us that our true worth comes from within, from our character, our virtues, 
and our ability to live in accordance with our principles. By letting go of the need for material gifts, we can cultivate a sense of self-worth that is independent of our possessions and grounded in something far more stable and enduring. The Stoics also taught that material gifts can create a false sense of security. We may believe that by accumulating possessions, we are insulating ourselves from the uncertainties of life. However, the Stoics understood that true security comes not from what we own, but from our ability to adapt to whatever life throws our way. They would encourage us to cultivate this inner resilience, knowing that it is our inner resources, not our material possessions, that will sustain us in times of difficulty. Moreover, the Stoics believed that the pursuit of simplicity and detachment from material things could lead to a greater sense of freedom. When we are not weighed down by the desire for possessions, we are free to focus on what truly matters, our relationships, our personal growth, and our contribution to the world. This freedom allows us to live more fully and authentically without being constrained by the need to acquire and maintain material wealth. The Stoic lessons in simplicity also remind us of the importance of gratitude. When we are not constantly seeking more, we are better able to appreciate what we already have. The Stoics believed that gratitude is essential to living a fulfilling life as it shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have. By cultivating an attitude of gratitude, we can find contentment in even the simplest of things, knowing that true happiness is not found in material gifts, but in our ability to appreciate the present moment. Dependency on material gifts can also lead to a sense of emptiness. No matter how many possessions we accumulate, there is always a void that cannot be filled by things. The Stoics understood this and taught that true fulfillment comes not from external sources, but from within. They would encourage us to look beyond the material and to seek out the deeper meaning and purpose in our lives. By focusing on what truly matters, our relationships, our personal growth and our contribution to the world, we can find a sense of fulfillment that is far more enduring than any material gift. Another important Stoic lesson in simplicity is the idea of self-sufficiency. The Stoics believed that true contentment comes from being able to provide for our own needs rather than relying on others to fulfill them. When we become too dependent on material gifts, we risk losing our sense of self-sufficiency, becoming reliant on others for our happiness. The Stoics would encourage us to cultivate this self-sufficiency, knowing that it is the key to living a life of independence and autonomy. In the end, the Stoic perspective on material gifts is about finding balance and focusing on what truly matters. It's about recognizing the dangers of dependency on external possessions and cultivating a sense of inner contentment that is not tied to what we own. By embracing simplicity and letting go of the need for material gifts, we can create a life that is rich in meaning, purpose and fulfillment. This journey of understanding and applying the Stoic lessons in simplicity is one that leads to greater self-awareness, humility and inner peace. It empowers us to take control of our own happiness, to live authentically and to find fulfillment in the pursuit of virtue rather than in the pursuit of material wealth. By embracing this philosophy, we can navigate the challenges of life with confidence, resilience and a deep sense of inner strength. The Stoic view on material gifts and simplicity is a powerful tool for cultivating a life of true contentment and fulfillment. It teaches us to be wary of the dangers of dependency on external possessions, to recognize the value of simplicity and to focus on what truly matters – our character, our relationships and our contribution to the world. By embracing this perspective, we can build a life that is not only resilient in the face of challenges, but also deeply satisfying and meaningful. We can find true freedom in the knowledge that our worth and happiness are not determined by what we own, 
but by how we choose to live our lives. This approach to material gifts and simplicity also encourages us to reflect on our own desires and motivations. Why do we seek out these gifts? What do we hope to achieve by acquiring them? The Stoics would urge us to question whether these desires are truly aligned with our values, or whether they are simply distractions from the pursuit of a more meaningful and fulfilling life. By examining our motivations and letting go of unnecessary desires, we can cultivate a deeper sense of contentment and peace, knowing that true happiness comes from within, not from external possessions. As we continue to explore and apply the Stoic lessons in simplicity, we can find a greater sense of balance and clarity in our lives. We can learn to appreciate the simple pleasures, to find joy in what we have, and to live with a sense of purpose and intention that is not tied to the accumulation of material wealth. This is the path to true fulfillment, one that leads to a life that is rich in meaning, connection, and inner peace. By embracing the Stoic philosophy of simplicity, we can create a life that is truly worth living. As we delve deeper into the Stoic lessons of simplicity and the dangers of dependence on material gifts, we come to another profound insight, the peril of allowing approval from others to guide our actions. Imagine living your life, constantly seeking the nod of approval from those around you. The praise feels validating, but what happens when that approval is withheld? The Stoics recognize this as a dangerous way to live, a life where your decisions are dictated by the whims and judgments of others rather than your own principles and values. The need for approval can be as addictive as it is destructive, leading us away from our true path and leaving us vulnerable to the ever-changing opinions of the crowd. When we allow approval from others to guide our actions, we hand over control of our lives to external forces. This can make us feel powerful when the approval flows in, but utterly powerless when it dries up. The Stoics taught that true freedom comes from within, from living in accordance with our own principles, rather than being swayed by the desires and expectations of others. By seeking approval, we become like ships tossed about by the winds of public opinion, never fully anchored, always at the mercy of the external environment. One of the greatest dangers of seeking approval is that it can lead us to compromise our values. When we are desperate for others' validation, we may start to do things that go against our own beliefs and principles simply to gain the approval we crave. This can lead to a deep sense of internal conflict and dissatisfaction as we know that we are not being true to ourselves. The Stoics believed that integrity, staying true to our values and principles, is the foundation of a virtuous life. By allowing approval from others to dictate our actions, we risk losing this integrity and the inner peace that comes with it. Another issue with letting approval guide our actions is that it can make us overly dependent on external validation for our sense of self-worth. When our self-esteem is tied to what others think of us, we become vulnerable to their judgments. This dependency can create a cycle of insecurity where we are constantly seeking reassurance from others rather than finding confidence within ourselves. The Stoics would argue that this is a fragile way to live as it leaves us exposed to the ups and downs of other people's opinions rather than grounding us in a stable sense of self. The Stoics also understood that the pursuit of approval can distract us from our true purpose. When we are focused on pleasing others, we may lose sight of what truly matters to us. We start to prioritize what will make us popular or liked over what is meaningful and aligned with our values. This can lead to a life that feels empty and unfulfilled as we are no longer living for ourselves, but for the approval of others. The Stoics would remind us that our actions should be guided by our own principles, not by the desire to be liked or accepted by others. Another profound Stoic insight is the recognition that approval is often fleeting and unreliable. 
People's opinions can change on a whim, influenced by factors that have nothing to do with us. When we allow these opinions to dictate our actions, we are building our lives on an unstable foundation. The Stoics taught that we should focus on what is within our control, our own thoughts, actions and values, rather than being swayed by the ever-changing tides of public opinion. By doing so, we can create a life that is steady, resilient and true to who we are. Letting approval guide our actions can also make us more susceptible to manipulation. Those who understand our need for validation can use it to control us, influencing our decisions and behavior in ways that serve their interests rather than our own. The Stoics would caution us against giving others this kind of power over our lives. They believed that true autonomy comes from within, from the ability to make decisions based on our own values and principles, without being swayed by the need for external approval. Moreover, when we seek approval, we may start to lose touch with our own identity. The more we try to conform to what others expect of us, the more we risk losing sight of who we truly are. This can lead to a sense of emptiness and confusion, as we are no longer sure what we stand for or what we truly want in life. The Stoics emphasized the importance of self-knowledge, understanding who we are, what we believe in, and what our values are. By letting go of the need for approval, we can reconnect with our true selves and live a life that is authentic and fulfilling. Another consequence of seeking approval is that it can lead to a lack of courage in our actions. When we are constantly worried about what others will think, we may hesitate to take bold steps or to stand up for what we believe in. This can prevent us from reaching our full potential and from living a life that is true to our values. The Stoics believed that courage is essential to living a virtuous life. They would encourage us to act with integrity and bravery even when it means going against the crowd or facing disapproval. The Stoics also understood that approval is often given for the wrong reasons. People may praise us not because we are doing something virtuous, but because we are doing something that benefits them or aligns with their own interests. When we allow this kind of approval to guide our actions, we may find ourselves doing things that are not truly aligned with our values or that do not contribute to our own growth and fulfillment. The Stoics would encourage us to be discerning about the approval we seek and to ensure that our actions are guided by our own principles rather than by the desire to please others. By letting go of the need for approval, we can cultivate a greater sense of inner peace and confidence. When we are no longer dependent on external validation, we are free to act according to our own values and principles without being swayed by the opinions of others. This kind of inner freedom is at the heart of Stoic wisdom. It allows us to live a life of purpose and fulfillment, unshaken by the judgments of others. The Stoics also believed that true happiness comes from living a life that is aligned with our values rather than from seeking the approval of others. When we focus on living according to our principles, we find a deeper sense of fulfillment and satisfaction, one that is not easily shaken by the opinions of others. This kind of happiness is lasting and stable as it is rooted in something that is within our control, our own actions and values, rather than in the fickle approval of others. Another important Stoic insight is the idea that seeking approval can lead to a life of inauthenticity. When we are constantly trying to please others, we may start to present a version of ourselves that is not true to who we really are. This can create a sense of disconnection, both from ourselves and from others, as we are not showing up as our true selves. The Stoics believed that authenticity is essential to living a fulfilling life. By letting go of the need for approval, we can embrace our true selves and build deeper, more meaningful connections with others. Moreover, the Stoics taught that approval from others is often based on superficial factors, such as our appearance, our social status, or our material possessions. 
When we allow these superficial factors to guide our actions, we risk losing sight of what truly matters, our character, our integrity, and our contribution to the world. The Stoics would encourage us to focus on these deeper values rather than on the external markers of approval that society often emphasizes. Another danger of seeking approval is that it can lead to a life of constant comparison. When we are focused on gaining approval from others, we may start to compare ourselves to those around us, measuring our worth by how we stack up against them. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy, jealousy and resentment, as we are always trying to keep up with others or to outdo them in the pursuit of approval. The Stoics believed that comparison is a trap that can lead to a life of dissatisfaction and inner turmoil. They would encourage us to focus on our own path rather than on how we measure up to others and to find contentment in living according to our own values and principles. Another profound Stoic insight is the recognition that approval is often given based on others' expectations rather than on what is truly best for us. When we allow these expectations to guide our actions, we may find ourselves pursuing goals or paths that are not aligned with our own values or desires. This can lead to a sense of emptiness and unfulfillment as we are not living a life that is true to ourselves. The Stoics would remind us that our actions should be guided by our own principles rather than by the expectations of others in order to live a life that is authentic and fulfilling. Letting go of the need for approval also allows us to develop a greater sense of self-confidence. When we are no longer dependent on external validation, we begin to trust our own judgment and abilities. This self-confidence empowers us to make decisions based on our own values, rather than on the desire to please others. The Stoics believed that this kind of self-reliance is essential to living a virtuous life, as it allows us to act with integrity and to stay true to our principles, even in the face of criticism or disapproval. Another consequence of seeking approval is that it can lead to a life of regret. When we allow the opinions of others to guide our actions, we may find ourselves making choices that we later regret, as they were not truly aligned with our values or desires. The Stoics taught that living a life of virtue requires us to act according to our own principles, rather than being swayed by the opinions of others. By letting go of the need for approval, we can make decisions that are true to ourselves and avoid the regret that comes from living a life that is not our own. The Stoics also believed that seeking approval can lead to a lack of authenticity in our relationships. When we are constantly trying to please others, we may start to present a version of ourselves that is not true to who we really are. This can create a sense of disconnection both from ourselves and from others, as we are not showing up as our true selves. The Stoics believed that authenticity is essential to living a fulfilling life. By letting go of the need for approval, we can embrace our true selves and build deeper, more meaningful connections with others. Moreover, the Stoics taught that approval from others is often based on superficial factors, such as our appearance, our social status, or our material possessions. When we allow these superficial factors to guide our actions, we risk losing sight of what truly matters, our character, our integrity, and our contribution to the world. The Stoics would encourage us to focus on these deeper values rather than on the external markers of approval that society often emphasizes. The Stoic approach to approval is a powerful tool for cultivating a life of true fulfillment and authenticity. It teaches us to be wary of the dangers of allowing approval from others to guide our actions and to focus instead on living according to our own principles and values. By letting go of the need for external validation, we can build a life that is resilient, confident, and deeply satisfying. We can find true freedom in the knowledge that our worth and happiness are not determined by the approval of others, 
but by how we choose to live our lives. This journey of understanding and applying the Stoic approach to approval is one that leads to greater self-awareness, humility, and inner peace. It empowers us to take control of our own lives, to live authentically, and to find fulfillment in the pursuit of virtue, rather than in the pursuit of approval from others. By embracing this philosophy, we can navigate the challenges of life with confidence, resilience, and a deep sense of inner strength. As we navigate the perilous waters of seeking approval from others and the dangers it poses to our sense of self, we arrive at an even more insidious challenge, emotional manipulation. Imagine the subtle, almost imperceptible ways in which others can influence your emotions, leading you to act against your own best interests. Emotional manipulation is a form of control that can deeply undermine our autonomy and sense of self. The Stoics, with their profound understanding of human nature, recognized the destructive power of emotional manipulation and developed strategies to resist it. Through their teachings, we learn how to maintain our inner strength and clarity, even in the face of those who seek to manipulate our emotions for their gain. Emotional manipulation often begins with a subtle shift in our feelings, triggered by someone else's actions or words. It can be as simple as a comment designed to make us feel guilty or a gesture intended to provoke a specific response. The Stoics taught that our emotions, while natural, should not be allowed to control us. Instead, we should strive to understand them, to recognize their origins, and to maintain our rationality in the face of emotional turbulence. By cultivating this emotional awareness, we can begin to see through the manipulative tactics of others and retain our sense of self-control. One of the primary tools of emotional manipulation is guilt. Manipulators often use guilt to pressure us into doing something we wouldn't otherwise do. They might frame a request in a way that makes us feel responsible for their happiness or well-being, leading us to act out of a sense of obligation rather than genuine desire. The Stoics, however, would remind us that we are not responsible for the emotions or satisfaction of others. Each person is responsible for their own state of mind. By internalizing this principle, we can resist the manipulative use of guilt and make decisions based on our own values rather than on a misplaced sense of duty. Another common form of emotional manipulation is the use of fear. Manipulators may try to instill fear in us, fear of loss, fear of rejection, or fear of failure in order to influence our behavior. The Stoics understood that fear is a powerful emotion, but they also believed that it could be overcome through rational thought and inner strength. They taught that many of the things we fear are not as terrifying as they seem when viewed through the lens of reason. By cultivating a Stoic mindset, we can confront our fears head on and refuse to let them dictate our actions. This resilience in the face of fear is crucial for avoiding emotional manipulation. Flattery is another tactic often employed by emotional manipulators. By showering us with compliments or praise, they seek to lower our defenses and make us more susceptible to their influence. The Stoics were wary of flattery, recognizing it as a tool that could easily lead us astray. They believed that true self-worth comes from within and should not be swayed by the opinions of others. By grounding ourselves in our own principles and understanding our true value, we can resist the allure of flattery and remain steadfast in our decisions. Emotional manipulation can also take the form of playing the victim. Manipulators may present themselves as helpless or wronged, hoping to elicit sympathy and compel us to act on their behalf. The Stoics, however, emphasized the importance of clear-eyed rationality over emotional responses. They taught that while it is natural to feel compassion, we must also discern whether the other person's plight is genuine or a ploy to manipulate our emotions. By practicing detachment and critical thinking, 
we can offer help where it is truly needed without being drawn into manipulative schemes. Another strategy manipulators use is creating a sense of indebtedness. By doing something for us, they may later imply that we owe them in return, even if the original act was unsolicited or minor. The Stoics would argue that true generosity expects nothing in return and that we should not feel obligated by the gifts or favours of others. By maintaining a sense of independence and understanding the nature of true generosity, we can avoid falling into the trap of feeling indebted to those who seek to control us through this tactic. Isolation is another powerful tool of emotional manipulation. Manipulators may try to isolate us from others, convincing us that they are the only ones who truly care for us or understand us. This isolation can make us more dependent on them and more susceptible to their influence. The Stoics believed in the importance of community and the support of like-minded individuals. They would encourage us to maintain strong, healthy relationships with others who share our values and who can offer us a broader perspective. By staying connected to a supportive community, we can protect ourselves from the isolating effects of manipulation. Manipulators also often use uncertainty to their advantage, keeping us off balance and unsure of our own judgment. They may give mixed signals, alternate between affection and criticism, or constantly shift their expectations, all to create a sense of confusion. The Stoics, however, taught that clarity of mind is essential to living a virtuous life. They would encourage us to seek inner clarity and to trust in our own reasoning and judgment. By developing a strong sense of self and a clear understanding of our values, we can navigate through the fog of uncertainty and make decisions that are true to ourselves. One of the most insidious forms of emotional manipulation is gaslighting, where the manipulator tries to make us doubt our own perceptions, memories, or sanity. This tactic can be incredibly damaging as it undermines our sense of reality and self-confidence. The Stoics would remind us of the importance of self-knowledge and trust in our own perceptions. They would encourage us to stay grounded in our own experiences and to seek out objective truth rather than allowing someone else to define our reality. By staying connected to our own inner wisdom, we can resist the effects of gaslighting and maintain our sense of self. Another way manipulators gain control is by exploiting our need for approval and acceptance. They may withhold affection or approval as a means of controlling our behavior, making us feel unworthy or unloved unless we comply with their demands. The Stoics, however, taught that true self-worth comes from within and is not dependent on the approval of others. They would encourage us to cultivate a sense of self that is independent of external validation so that we are not vulnerable to this kind of manipulation. By recognizing our own inherent worth, we can resist the manipulative tactics of those who seek to control us through our need for approval. Emotional manipulation often relies on creating a sense of urgency or pressure, pushing us to make decisions quickly without time for reflection. Manipulators may try to convince us that we must act immediately or risk losing something important. The Stoics would advise us to resist this pressure and to take the time to think rationally about our decisions. They believed that calm, deliberate action is always preferable to rash, emotion-driven responses. By cultivating patience and taking the time to reflect, we can avoid being manipulated into making hasty decisions that do not align with our values. One of the most effective ways to resist emotional manipulation is to cultivate a strong sense of self-awareness. The Stoics believed that self-knowledge is the foundation of a virtuous life. By understanding our own emotions, triggers and vulnerabilities, we can better recognize when someone is trying to manipulate us. This self-awareness allows us to maintain our inner stability and to respond to situations with clarity and rationality 
rather than being swept up in the emotions that manipulators seek to provoke. The Stoics also emphasized the importance of practicing detachment. By learning to detach from our immediate emotional reactions, we can create the space needed to think clearly and make rational decisions. This detachment does not mean suppressing our emotions, but rather understanding them and not allowing them to control us. By practicing detachment, we can resist the emotional hooks that manipulators use to pull us in and maintain our autonomy in the face of their tactics. Another key Stoic principle in resisting emotional manipulation is the concept of inner tranquility. The Stoics believed that true peace comes from within and that it is possible to maintain a sense of calm and equilibrium even in the face of external challenges. By cultivating this inner tranquility, we can create a buffer against the emotional turmoil that manipulators seek to create. This tranquility allows us to remain centered and grounded, making it more difficult for others to sway us from our path. The Stoics also taught the importance of setting boundaries. Emotional manipulators often try to overstep our boundaries, pushing us to do things we are uncomfortable with or that go against our values. The Stoics would encourage us to be firm in our principles and to clearly define the limits of what we are willing to tolerate. By setting and maintaining strong boundaries, we protect ourselves from being drawn into manipulative dynamics and ensure that our actions remain true to our values. Another important Stoic strategy for resisting emotional manipulation is the practice of rational self-reflection. The Stoics believed in regularly examining their own thoughts, actions and motives to ensure that they were living in accordance with their values. This self-reflection allows us to recognize when we are being influenced by others in ways that do not serve our best interests. By taking the time to reflect on our decisions and to consider whether they align with our principles, we can avoid being swayed by emotional manipulation and stay true to ourselves. The Stoics also emphasized the value of mindfulness, being fully present and aware in the moment. This mindfulness allows us to observe our own emotions and reactions without being overwhelmed by them. By practicing mindfulness, we can become more attuned to the subtle ways in which others may try to manipulate our emotions. This heightened awareness enables us to respond to situations with clarity and composure, rather than being swept up in the emotional drama that manipulators often create. Another Stoic lesson in avoiding emotional manipulation is the importance of self-discipline. The Stoics believed that self-discipline is essential to living a virtuous life, as it allows us to control our impulses and make decisions based on reason rather than emotion. By cultivating self-discipline, we can resist the manipulative tactics of those who seek to provoke us into reacting emotionally. This self-discipline empowers us to act in accordance with our values, even in the face of pressure or provocation. The Stoics also taught that it is important to maintain perspective, Manipulators often try to make us feel as though their demands or emotions are of paramount importance, overshadowing everything else in our lives. The Stoics, however, would encourage us to take a step back and consider the bigger picture. By maintaining a broad perspective, we can see through the manipulative tactics of others and recognize when someone is trying to distort our priorities for their own gain. In addition to these strategies, the Stoics believed in the power of reason and logic. They taught that by applying reason to our decisions, we can cut through the emotional manipulation of others and see things as they truly are. This logical approach allows us to remain objective, to assess situations based on facts rather than emotions, and to make decisions that are in line with our principles by cultivating our reasoning abilities, we strengthen our resistance to emotional manipulation and maintain our autonomy. Finally, the Stoics would remind us that we are ultimately responsible for our own emotions and reactions. While others may try to manipulate us, 
It is up to us to decide how we respond. By taking ownership of our emotions and practicing the stoic principles of self-awareness, detachment and rationality, we can protect ourselves from manipulation and maintain control over our own lives. The stoic approach to avoiding emotional manipulation is a powerful tool for maintaining our autonomy and inner strength. It teaches us to recognize and resist the subtle tactics that others may use to influence our emotions and to remain true to our values in the face of external pressures. By embracing these stoic principles, we can navigate the complexities of human relationships with clarity, confidence and resilience, ensuring that our actions are guided by our own principles rather than by the manipulative tactics of others. This journey of understanding and applying the stoic approach to emotional manipulation is one that leads to greater self-awareness, inner peace, and the ability to live a life of true freedom and authenticity. As we deepen our understanding of how stoicism equips us to resist emotional manipulation, we encounter another powerful lesson that challenges conventional thinking, the rejection of pity and sympathy. Imagine a life where instead of seeking or accepting pity from others, you cultivate an unshakable resilience, one that allows you to face life's challenges with strength and dignity. The Stoics believed that by rejecting pity and sympathy, we embrace a form of resilience that is not only empowering, but also liberating. This perspective shifts our focus from victimhood to empowerment, teaching us to rely on our inner strength rather than the emotional crutches offered by others. Pity, often mistaken for compassion, can subtly undermine our sense of self-worth. When others pity us, they place us in a position of weakness, viewing us as incapable of overcoming our challenges. While pity may be well-intentioned, it carries with it an implication of inferiority, as though we are less capable or deserving of respect. The Stoics would argue that accepting pity reinforces this narrative of weakness, encouraging us to see ourselves as victims rather than as resilient individuals capable of overcoming adversity. By rejecting pity, we refuse to accept this diminished view of ourselves and instead choose to stand tall in the face of life's difficulties. Sympathy, on the other hand, often comes with a different set of challenges. While sympathy can be a genuine expression of care, it can also create a dependency on external validation and comfort. When we seek or accept sympathy, we may inadvertently start to rely on others to soothe our emotional wounds, rather than developing the inner strength needed to heal and move forward. The Stoics taught that true resilience comes from within, from the ability to face hardships with courage and clarity, without needing others to carry us through. By embracing this inner resilience, we empower ourselves to navigate life's challenges independently, without becoming reliant on the sympathy of others. Another aspect of rejecting pity and sympathy is the emphasis on personal responsibility. The Stoics believed that we are each responsible for our own emotions and reactions, regardless of the circumstances we face. When we accept pity or seek sympathy, we may be tempted to shift this responsibility onto others, expecting them to make us feel better or to solve our problems for us. This mindset can lead to a sense of helplessness as we wait for others to lift us up rather than taking proactive steps to improve our situation. By rejecting pity and sympathy, we reclaim our responsibility for our own well-being taking charge of our emotions and actions with a sense of ownership and empowerment. The Stoics also recognized that life is filled with challenges and adversities that are inevitable and often beyond our control. However, they believed that our true power lies in how we respond to these challenges. By rejecting pity and sympathy, we refuse to allow our circumstances to define us. Instead, we focus on developing the inner strength and resilience needed to rise above our challenges, no matter how difficult they may be. 
This shift in perspective allows us to approach life with a sense of agency and control, knowing that while we cannot always change our circumstances, we can always choose how we respond to them. Moreover, the Stoics understood that accepting pity and sympathy can create a cycle of dependency. When we rely on others for emotional support, we may find ourselves trapped in a pattern of seeking validation and comfort from external sources, rather than cultivating our own inner resources. This dependency can weaken our resilience over time, as we become increasingly reliant on others to help us navigate life's difficulties. The Stoics would encourage us to break free from this cycle by developing our own inner strength and learning to face challenges with courage and determination without seeking or accepting pity or sympathy from others. Rejecting pity and sympathy also allows us to maintain our dignity in the face of adversity. The Stoics believed that true dignity comes from our ability to endure hardships with grace and composure without succumbing to self-pity or seeking the validation of others. By embracing this stoic resilience, we can face even the most difficult challenges with a sense of pride and self-respect, knowing that we are capable of overcoming them without relying on the emotional support of others. This dignity is a reflection of our inner strength and our commitment to living a life of virtue, regardless of the obstacles we encounter. The Stoics also taught that by rejecting pity and sympathy, we cultivate a mindset of self-sufficiency. This self-sufficiency is not about isolating ourselves from others or refusing help when it is genuinely needed, but rather about developing the inner resources necessary to handle life's challenges on our own terms. When we rely on our own strength and resilience, we become less vulnerable to the emotional ups and downs that come with external validation. This self-sufficiency empowers us to navigate life with greater confidence and independence, knowing that we have the tools within us to face whatever comes our way. Another important aspect of Stoic resilience is the ability to maintain emotional equilibrium in the face of adversity. The Stoics believed that true resilience is not just about enduring hardships, but about doing so with a calm and balanced mind. When we reject pity and sympathy, we refuse to let our emotions be swayed by the opinions or reactions of others. Instead, we cultivate a sense of inner peace and stability that allows us to remain composed and focused, even in the most challenging circumstances. This emotional equilibrium is a key component of Stoic resilience, enabling us to face life's difficulties with clarity and strength. The Stoics also emphasized the importance of perspective in building resilience. They taught that our suffering is often magnified by the way we perceive our challenges, rather than by the challenges themselves. By rejecting pity and sympathy, we refuse to adopt a victim mentality that sees our difficulties as insurmountable obstacles. Instead, we choose to view our challenges as opportunities for growth and self-improvement, recognizing that each adversity we face is a chance to strengthen our character and develop our resilience. This shift in perspective allows us to approach life's challenges with a sense of purpose and determination, rather than with a sense of defeat. Another profound insight from the Stoics is the idea that resilience is cultivated through practice and repetition. Just as physical strength is built through consistent exercise, emotional and mental resilience is developed through repeatedly facing and overcoming challenges. By rejecting pity and sympathy, we commit ourselves to the practice of resilience, knowing that each challenge we face is an opportunity to strengthen our inner fortitude. This practice of resilience not only prepares us to handle future difficulties with greater ease, but also instills in us a sense of confidence and self-assurance that comes from knowing we are capable of enduring and overcoming whatever life throws our way. The Stoics also recognized that resilience is closely tied to the development of virtues such as courage, wisdom and self-discipline. 
By rejecting pity and sympathy, we commit ourselves to the cultivation of these virtues, knowing that they are the foundation of a resilient and fulfilling life. Courage allows us to face our challenges head-on, wisdom guides us in making sound decisions, and self-discipline ensures that we remain steadfast in our pursuit of our goals. By embracing these virtues, we build the resilience needed to navigate life's challenges with strength and grace, without relying on the emotional support of others. Rejecting pity and sympathy also helps us to foster a sense of inner peace and contentment. The Stoics believed that true happiness comes from within and that it is not dependent on external circumstances or the validation of others. By rejecting pity and sympathy, we free ourselves from the emotional turmoil that comes with seeking external validation, allowing us to cultivate a sense of inner peace that is not easily shaken by life's challenges. This inner peace is a reflection of our resilience and our commitment to living a life of virtue, regardless of the obstacles we encounter. Another key aspect of Stoic resilience is the importance of self-reflection. The Stoics believed that regularly examining our thoughts, actions and emotions is essential to building resilience. By rejecting pity and sympathy, we encourage ourselves to engage in this practice of self-reflection, asking ourselves how we can better respond to challenges and how we can continue to strengthen our inner fortitude. This self-reflection allows us to learn from our experiences, to grow from our mistakes and to continuously develop the resilience needed to navigate life's difficulties with confidence and strength. The Stoics also taught that resilience is not just about enduring challenges, but about thriving in the face of adversity. By rejecting pity and sympathy, we shift our focus from merely surviving to actively growing and evolving as individuals. This mindset allows us to see our challenges as opportunities for personal development rather than as obstacles to be overcome. By embracing this stoic resilience, we not only build the strength needed to face life's difficulties, but also cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment that comes from knowing we are constantly growing and improving. Moreover, the Stoics believed that by rejecting pity and sympathy, we set an example for others. When we face our challenges with resilience and dignity, we inspire those around us to do the same. This leadership by example is a powerful way to influence others, as it demonstrates the strength and potential that lies within each of us. By embracing stoic resilience, we not only improve our own lives, but also contribute to the well-being and empowerment of those around us, creating a ripple effect of strength and resilience in our communities. Finally, the Stoics would remind us that resilience is a lifelong journey. It is not something that is achieved overnight, but rather something that is continuously developed and refined throughout our lives. By rejecting pity and sympathy, we commit ourselves to this journey of resilience, knowing that each challenge we face is an opportunity to strengthen our inner fortitude and to live a life of greater purpose and fulfillment. This commitment to resilience is a reflection of our dedication to living a life of virtue, one that is guided by our principles and values rather than by the opinions or reactions of others. The Stoic approach to rejecting pity and sympathy is a powerful tool for cultivating resilience and inner strength. It teaches us to embrace our challenges with courage and determination, to rely on our own inner resources rather than on the emotional support of others, and to view our difficulties as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. By embracing this Stoic resilience, we can navigate life's challenges with confidence, dignity and grace, knowing that we are capable of overcoming whatever obstacles we encounter. This journey of understanding and applying the Stoic approach to resilience is one that leads to greater self-awareness, inner peace and the ability to live a life of true freedom and authenticity. As we embrace the Stoic resilience that comes from rejecting pity and sympathy, 
we are led to another profound insight. The importance of not borrowing happiness from others. Imagine for a moment the fleeting joy that comes from depending on someone else to bring you happiness. It feels comforting, even exhilarating, but what happens when that source of joy is no longer there? The Stoics understood that relying on others for our happiness is a precarious endeavor, one that leaves us vulnerable to the whims and actions of those around us. Instead, they taught the value of self-reliance, of cultivating an inner wellspring of contentment that is independent of external circumstances or relationships. This approach is not about isolation, but about developing a deep, unshakable sense of happiness that is grounded in your own values, actions, and understanding. When we borrow happiness from others, we place our emotional well-being in their hands. This can create a cycle of dependency where our mood and sense of self-worth rise and fall based on how others treat us, what they do for us, or how they make us feel. The Stoics recognize that this is a fragile way to live. By depending on others for our happiness, we give away our power and become susceptible to disappointment, frustration, and even despair when things don't go as we hope. The Stoics would advise us to take back that power by finding happiness within ourselves, a happiness that is not contingent on the actions or approval of others. One of the fundamental teachings of Stoicism is that we should focus on what is within our control. Other people's actions, thoughts and feelings are not within our control, and thus, depending on them for our happiness is inherently risky. The Stoics would encourage us to look inward, to develop a sense of contentment that comes from living according to our principles, engaging in meaningful activities, and nurturing our inner lives. This self-reliant happiness is stable, enduring, and not easily shaken by the external events or the behavior of others. Another danger of borrowing happiness from others is that it can lead us to compromise our values and priorities. In our desire to maintain that source of happiness, we may start to mold ourselves to fit the expectations of others, doing things that are not true to who we are. This can lead to a deep sense of disconnection from ourselves as we become more focused on pleasing others than on living a life that is authentic and meaningful. The Stoics would remind us that true happiness comes from living in alignment with our values, not from trying to meet the expectations of others. By cultivating self-reliance, we ensure that our happiness is grounded in who we truly are, rather than in how others perceive us. The Stoics also understood that when we rely on others for happiness, we set ourselves up for inevitable disappointment. Relationships, circumstances and people change, and what once brought us joy may no longer be available or may even turn into a source of pain. If our happiness is tied to these external factors, we are left vulnerable and at the mercy of life's uncertainties. The Stoics would encourage us to build our happiness on a more solid foundation, our inner resilience, our ability to find meaning in our experiences, and our commitment to living a virtuous life. This internal source of happiness is far more enduring and reliable, as it is not subject to the constant changes and unpredictabilities of the external world. Moreover, borrowing happiness from others can prevent us from developing our own emotional and psychological resources. When we look to others to make us happy, we may neglect the development of our own inner strengths such as self-compassion, gratitude, and emotional resilience. The Stoics believed that these inner qualities are essential for a fulfilling life and that they are best cultivated through self-reflection, discipline, and a commitment to personal growth. By relying on our own resources for happiness, we become more self-sufficient and better equipped to handle life's challenges with grace and equanimity. Another important aspect of Stoic self-reliance is the idea of contentment with the present moment. 
The Stoics taught that happiness is not something to be found in the future or in external circumstances, but in the here and now. By focusing on the present and finding contentment in our current situation, we free ourselves from the need to seek happiness from others or from some future event. This present moment awareness is a key element of Stoic practice, allowing us to cultivate a deep sense of peace and fulfillment that is independent of external factors. The Stoics also believed that true happiness is tied to our sense of purpose and meaning in life. When we borrow happiness from others, we may lose sight of our own purpose, becoming more focused on what makes others happy or on what they expect from us. This can lead to a sense of emptiness or lack of direction, as we are no longer living in alignment with our true values and goals. The Stoics would encourage us to find happiness by pursuing our own purpose, by engaging in activities that are meaningful to us and that contribute to our personal growth and well-being. This sense of purpose is a powerful source of self-reliant happiness, one that is deeply fulfilling and not easily shaken by external events. Another danger of relying on others for happiness is that it can create unrealistic expectations and lead to resentment when those expectations are not met. We may expect others to make us happy in ways that are beyond their ability or responsibility, and when they inevitably fall short, we may feel disappointed or even betrayed. The Stoics would remind us that others are not responsible for our happiness. We are. By taking responsibility for our own emotional well-being, we free others from the burden of meeting our expectations and avoid the resentment that can arise from unmet needs. The Stoics also taught that borrowing happiness from others can lead to a life of distraction and superficiality. When we seek happiness in external things, whether it's the approval of others, material possessions, or fleeting pleasures, we may find ourselves constantly chasing after the next source of joy, never fully satisfied with what we have. This can lead to a sense of restlessness and dissatisfaction, as we are always looking for happiness outside of ourselves rather than cultivating it within. The Stoics would encourage us to shift our focus from external distractions to the development of our inner life, finding contentment in simplicity, self-discipline and the pursuit of wisdom. Another important aspect of Stoic self-reliance is the cultivation of emotional resilience. When we rely on others for happiness, we may become more vulnerable to emotional ups and downs as our mood is influenced by the actions and reactions of those around us. The Stoics believed that true resilience comes from within, from our ability to manage our own emotions and maintain a sense of balance and equanimity regardless of external circumstances. By developing this inner resilience, we become less dependent on others for our happiness and more capable of navigating life's challenges with strength and clarity. The Stoics also emphasized the importance of accepting the impermanence of all things. When we borrow happiness from others, we may cling to relationships or circumstances that are inherently transient, leading to a sense of loss or despair when they inevitably change. The Stoics taught that everything in life is subject to change and that true happiness comes from accepting this impermanence and finding contentment within ourselves. By embracing the transitory nature of life, we free ourselves from the need to hold on to external sources of happiness and instead find peace in the present moment. Another key element of Stoic self-reliance is the practice of gratitude. The Stoics believed that cultivating gratitude for what we have, rather than focusing on what we lack or what others provide, is essential for a fulfilling life. By practicing gratitude, we shift our focus from external sources of happiness to the abundance that already exists within us and around us. This attitude of gratitude fosters a sense of contentment and well-being that is independent of external circumstances, allowing us to find happiness within ourselves rather than borrowing it from others. 
The Stoics also recognized that relying on others for happiness can lead to a loss of personal freedom. When our happiness is tied to the actions or approval of others, we may find ourselves making choices that are not truly our own, but that are influenced by our desire to please or gain the acceptance of others. This can lead to a sense of being trapped or controlled by the expectations and demands of those around us. The Stoics would encourage us to reclaim our freedom by finding happiness within ourselves, making choices that are aligned with our own values and desires, rather than being dictated by the need for external validation. Moreover, the Stoics taught that true happiness is found in the cultivation of virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and self-discipline. These virtues are the foundation of a fulfilling life and are not dependent on external factors or the actions of others. By focusing on the development of these virtues, we cultivate a sense of inner strength and integrity that allows us to find happiness within ourselves, regardless of external circumstances. This virtuous life, according to the Stoics, is the key to true and lasting happiness. Another important aspect of Stoic self-reliance is the practice of mindfulness and self-awareness. The Stoics believed that by becoming more aware of our own thoughts, emotions and motivations, we can better understand what truly makes us happy and avoid the pitfalls of borrowing happiness from others. This self-awareness allows us to recognize when we are relying too much on external sources of happiness and to redirect our focus toward cultivating inner contentment. By practicing mindfulness, we become more attuned to our own needs and desires, allowing us to find happiness within ourselves rather than seeking it from others. The Stoics also taught that by relying on ourselves for happiness, we develop a greater sense of personal responsibility. When we take ownership of our own happiness, we are more likely to make choices that are aligned with our values and that contribute to our long-term well-being. This sense of responsibility empowers us to take control of our lives and to create the conditions for our own happiness rather than waiting for others to provide it for us. By embracing this responsibility, we become more self-reliant and more capable of navigating life's challenges with confidence and resilience. Another key element of Stoic self-reliance is the importance of setting healthy boundaries. When we borrow happiness from others, we may find ourselves crossing our own boundaries or allowing others to do so in order to maintain that source of joy. This can lead to a sense of being overwhelmed or taken advantage of, as we prioritize the needs and desires of others over our own well-being. The Stoics would encourage us to set clear boundaries that protect our own happiness and ensure that we are living in alignment with our values. By establishing and maintaining these boundaries, we cultivate a sense of self-respect and self-reliance that allows us to find happiness within ourselves. The Stoics also recognized the value of solitude in cultivating self-reliant happiness. While relationships and connections with others are important, the Stoics believed that spending time alone allows us to connect with our inner selves, to reflect on our values, and to cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment. By embracing solitude, we create the space to develop our own sources of happiness independent of the influence of others. This practice of solitude helps us to strengthen our self-reliance and to find joy in our own company without needing to borrow happiness from external sources. Another important aspect of Stoic self-reliance is the cultivation of self-compassion. The Stoics believed that by being kind and understanding toward ourselves, we can create a strong foundation of self-worth and self-acceptance that is not dependent on the approval or validation of others. By practicing self-compassion, we learn to find happiness within ourselves, regardless of external circumstances or the actions of others. This self-compassion allows us to navigate life's challenges with greater resilience and to find peace and contentment within, 
without needing to rely on others for our happiness. Finally, the Stoics would remind us that self-reliant happiness is not about isolation or rejecting relationships with others. Instead, it is about finding a balance between our own inner contentment and the joy we derive from our connections with others. By cultivating self-reliance, we can engage in relationships from a place of strength and authenticity, rather than from a place of neediness or dependency. This allows us to build deeper, more meaningful connections with others, while also maintaining our own sense of happiness and well-being. In conclusion, the Stoic approach to self-reliant happiness is a powerful tool for living a fulfilling and meaningful life. It teaches us to cultivate happiness from within, rather than borrowing it from others, and to focus on what is within our control. By embracing Stoic strategies for self-reliance, we can develop a deep sense of contentment and well-being that is independent of external circumstances, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with strength, resilience and inner peace. This journey of understanding and applying the Stoic approach to self-reliant happiness leads to greater self-awareness, inner strength and the ability to live a life of true freedom and authenticity. As we've journeyed through these nine Stoic life lessons, we've uncovered the deep wisdom of relying on inner strength, rejecting the lure of external validation and cultivating self-reliance. From understanding the dangers of seeking validation to avoiding emotional manipulation and from resisting the temptation to borrow happiness from others to embracing resilience without pity or sympathy, these lessons are about reclaiming your power. They remind us that true contentment and fulfillment come from within, not from what others give or say. Now it's your turn to reflect. Which of these lessons resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you're applying stoic wisdom in your own life. If you found value in this journey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Together, let's continue exploring the path to a resilient and empowered life.